When you're trading based on social data, one of the most obvious things that you want to look for are large cultural change moments. Right now we're in one of those moments and it's pretty obvious what the change is. The change is AI. Everyone's jumping onto these generative AI models. Companies are moving, you know, 10, 20%, billion, billion dollar companies are making massive moves because of this news. And as with anything, Wall Street is really slow to understand it. Although if you were on Twitter or YouTube, if you're part of any kind of tech circle over the past couple of months, even pretty much since the beginning of the year, since GBT3 launched, you would have realized that this stuff is really significant. People are buying and using more graphics cards than ever. Um, these LLMs are replacing services like Chegg and homework solvers. It's even honestly a, a pretty large threat to Google. Um, but Wall Street doesn't understand that until the companies literally come out and say, look, our earnings are shifting massively because of this AI thing. Um, and also when other companies like Chegg come out and say, look, actually our business is getting destroyed because of these AI things. So anyways, what's interesting about this is it's, it's pretty obvious which dominoes are going to fall due to AI trends. Um, we've seen things now like NVIDIA, which just moved 20% the other day, which is absolutely insane that it made that large of a move this far after these major AI products have already started to move. Um, and I think I've found the next domino that's going to fall that's an, a super obvious AI play um, that could potentially have some really interesting gains. So I have one play, which is a stock, and one play, which is a cryptocurrency. I kind of wanted to add a cryptocurrency in there uh, just because there's one that has some, some pretty good social growth. Um, so I'll start with the cryptocurrency, then I'll go into the stock, which I think once I say it in my thesis for the stock, um, you'll be pretty excited about it because it's a pretty obvious one. Um, and it's one that could have some, some decent upside. So let's start with the cryptocurrency. The cryptocurrency is called uh, Render Token. Render Token is a distributed GPU uh, rendering service. So essentially you can rent GPUs to do whatever task you want. Obviously this falls perfectly with an AI because people can train their AI models on this network. Um, what's interesting about this one is just the social um, adoption that this has seen. So this is my platform, Ticker Trends. Ticker Trends is an alternative data research platform. So we track all sorts of data from around the internet that relate to public companies, equities, and we convert these into actionable insights. So here you can see that Render Token very obviously has been performing uh, abnormally well. The web traffic uh, for their website has been increasing. Um, and if you look at social mentions, which this is this is the bread and butter of cryptocurrency. If people are talking about something, then the, the cryptocurrency prices start to, to follow this. It's much more hype focused than the stock market. And you can see here that the render token mentions the number of people talking about this on Twitter um, and other platforms is skyrocketing. So this is when I knew it was something interesting. Um, and then whenever I did more research into it, the narrative of course falls perfectly within AI, which is why I thought it would be a perfect inclusion in this video. Um, and then when you look at some of the actual blockchain analytics of render token, which you don't need to understand too much, all you need to understand is that people are generally using this, this platform more. There's a substantial number of new users and new investors um, touching this project. And in cryptocurrency, it's, it's no different than the stock market. It takes people a while to kind of catch on to things. Um, and also it's, it's much more hype focused and social focused. So if they're big influencers and people talking about a certain token, then it will eventually start to go up. And with render token, it's already started to go up, but I do think that there's more potential for this to continue to move as the AI narrative gets bigger and bigger, because I, I don't think AI is going to get smaller moving over the next couple of months. It's only going to continue. And if cryptocurrency keeps getting the attention it has gotten, then this is probably, at least for me, my preferred play. And there might be some other tokens that are better, uh, but this is the one that I found and, and decided to feature in this video. Now, what's interesting about this is this actually ties into my stock play. So if you go on Twitter and you look up WWDC uh, 2023, which is the uh, Apple event where they made different announcements, then you'll see that actually render token is attached to this. So Twitter people, of course, they, they kind of, peddle these conspiracy theories or, uh, you know, with cryptocurrency projects, they, they have all these announcements and partnerships that are not entirely legitimate. I don't know what it is for render token, but apparently render token has some partnerships with like Nvidia and Apple. Although I, I don't know about the legitimacy of those partnerships. Um, however, people are saying that with this next Apple event, they're going to somehow involve render token, but 
What I'm most interested about is not the fact that they would mention render token, because they probably wouldn't, but what's interesting about it is this AI connection with the next Apple event. Obviously, if you look at these stocks that have been going up, uh, for example, NVIDIA, which a lot of you may or may not have seen, NVIDIA jumped 20% on their earnings where they were talking about AI. Um, another really obvious one, Google. Google jumped on their event whenever they mentioned AI. I think it was like some some 20 or 30 times within their event. What, what company has an event coming up? Apple does. Um, Apple has WWDC, which is their big event where they make all their announcements about new products, new software, um, anything that they're coming out with. And a lot of people, for some reason, are focusing on this VR headset. People think that Apple is going to announce some really cool new VR or AR headset, and that's kind of what the market is set on focusing and talking about. What I think is a really, really obvious thing that Apple's going to announce um, is, is something related to AI. I think this is one of the most obvious plays. Apple is a massive company. And they're not someone who, their CEO is not going to see this AI trend and, and understand that if they just announce five to 10 things related to AI, their stock could jump potentially 10 to 20%. I don't see why they wouldn't capitalize on that. Um, Apple, if you look at the stock price right now and, and just kind of the sentiment surrounding discussion of Apple, you'll see that AI is something that people are kind of oblivious to when it comes to Apple. People don't really think that this is something that Apple has capitalized on or is focusing on. I think that there's at least, let's say, 10 or 20 developer teams at Apple right now that are entirely focused on AI, at least. And at this next conference, when they make these announcements of, of new releases and, and new software and new hardware that they're coming out with, AI is going to be a part of it. And it's going to affect and impact the stock price of Apple. Um, this is one of those dominoes that's coming up that's a really obvious one. I plan on capitalizing on this by potentially buying some Apple stock a couple of days before the WWDC event and then selling on the hype whenever people realize, oh, actually, even if they did come out with this AR or VR headset, that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is that Apple added some LLM into their software. Maybe they came out with their own AI model. Maybe they announced that they're researching AI. No matter how insignificant it is, as long as Apple has some mentions of AI in their event, the stock market's gonna love it. Um, and so this is a really clear, clearly defined play, in my opinion, with medium to low risk in terms of downside. Maybe they don't really focus on AI, but then the stock might just be flat. Um, whatever's gonna happen, I think that this is a really obvious one for, for an AI play. And it, it kind of falls perfectly into this whole social change because again, AI is the biggest trend. Apple's the one that no one's really talking about that's clearly going to get into this space. Um, and there's pretty good potential for a big, a pretty large move on a large company. Um, we saw NVIDIA is an $800, $700 billion company, and they added $200 billion to their market cap just based on this AI news and, and the fact that their sales have been increasing based on AI. Um, Google was moving in a similar way pretty positively. Um, from AI news, I don't see why Apple can't move and, and add at least five, 10% to their market cap from, from announcements on AI as well. Um, and it'll kind of be like one of those secret players coming out from the sidelines. People are kind of all looking at the main AI companies and, and hyping it on. But once Apple comes in and is like, look guys, we're doing AI too. Everyone's gonna be like, oh shoot, we need to look at Apple. You know, Apple's the one that could be the most important because if Siri has some feature that replaces ChatGBT, then, then why would people use ChatGPT? They can just use their Apple AI that's built into all their laptops and phones and, and watches and AirPods. It's, it's a really obvious play. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, AI is a huge opportunity in the markets. Leave comments of what other plays you're really excited about in the AI space. This is really the tip of the iceberg, Apple and Render Token. I mean, these are just two plays. There are probably a hundred plays at least in financial markets right now that have massive upside from, from this AI trend. So let me know what you think they are, and I hope to see you in the next video.